Unlocking the Mystery of Rightful Heir, A Guide to Understanding English Phrases. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to explore the meaning and usage of the phrase, rightful heir. This is a fascinating phrase that pops up in both everyday conversation and literature. Understanding it can enrich your English language skills and cultural knowledge. Let's dive into this interesting phrase. The phrase, rightful heir, is made up of two words, rightful, which means legally or morally correct, and heir, which refers to a person who is legally entitled to inherit property, title, or office after the death of its owner. When combined, rightful heir describes someone who is legitimately entitled to inherit something, whether it's a throne, property, or a position, often due to their relationship to the person who previously held it. Rightful heir is a phrase with deep historical and literary roots. It's often used in the context of royalty and nobility, where the succession of a throne or title is important. In literature, this phrase is commonly found in stories about kingdoms, battles for power, and family legacies. It evokes themes of justice, legitimacy, and the conflict between right and wrong. In modern times, while the term may not be used as frequently in the context of royalty, it still appears in legal, family, and business contexts. For instance, in a will, the rightful heir is the person designated to receive the inheritance. In family businesses, it might refer to the family member most suited to take over leadership. A common misunderstanding is confusing rightful heir with right heir. The latter isn't a standard phrase and lacks the legal and moral connotations of rightful heir. Another mistake is using rightful heir in situations where inheritance or succession isn't involved, which can lead to confusion. Understanding the phrase, rightful heir, not only helps in grasping the language better but also offers a glimpse into history and culture. We hope this video has shed light on this intriguing phrase and added a new dimension to your English learning journey. Stay curious and keep learning, and we'll see you in our next video.